Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Logic. In the last video, we introduced emotive and cognitive words. We also practice identifying emotive language. In this video, we will focus on cognitive meaning. First, let's look at how cognitive meaning can be defective. Cognitive meaning can be defective in two ways, which are vagueness and ambiguity. A vague expression is an expression that is imprecise and can be interpreted in different ways. Example of vague words would be cool, nifty, poor, sharp, bright, etc. An ambiguous expression is an expression that can have two completely different meanings. An example of some ambiguous words would be times, post, stationary, chest, bank, etc. So a vague expression are expressions that have one meaning but come in different degrees. And an ambiguous expression is one in which can have two separate meanings. The vague word poor can be interpreted in degrees. Poor can mean not having a million dollars or not having any shoes. The ambiguous word bank can be interpreted in two different ways. The river bank or the Bank of America. These concepts are important to our study in logic because people often dispute over confusion in vagueness and ambiguity. For example, Jack says, this cheddar cheese is sharp. Jill says, well, you better be careful not to cut yourself. Well, here's another example. Because of the vague word expensive, Jack I cannot eat at that restaurant. It's too expensive. It costs $30 a meal. And Jill says, that's not expensive. Restaurants in my neighborhood cost $100 a meal. These examples of disputes are verbal disputes. These are not factual disputes. Factual disputes arise over disagreements about facts. For example, Jack says, Reno is the capital of Nevada. Jill says, you're wrong. Carson City is the capital of Nevada. Well, here's another example. Jack says, the 49ers won the Super Bowl last year. Jill says, you're wrong. The Raiders won the Super Bowl last year. Well, now that you understand the basic concept, let's lock in the new neural pathway by doing some practice problems. Practice problem number one. Select what type of dispute this is. Press pause and then press play again to see if you're correct. Go ahead and press pause because the answer is going to be in three, two, one. Bing, that's right. It's a factual dispute over the date of World War I. Here's another practice problem. Select what kind of dispute this is. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing, that's correct. It's a verbal ambiguity. Hot can mean spicy or high temperature. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer's in three, two, one. Ding, that's right. It's a factual dispute over Obama's office number. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer's in three, two, one, bing, that's right. It's a verbal dispute over the vague word good. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer's in three, two, one, bing, that's correct. It's about the fact written on the sign. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer's in three, two, one, ding, that's right. It's a verbal dispute over the vague word scary. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Ding! That's right. It's a verbal dispute. The word day can mean total hours or total daylight hours. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. That's correct. A verbal dispute over the vague vagueness of the word drunk. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. 
Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding, that's correct. The ver it's a verbal vagueness dispute. The word high is interpreted in different degrees. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding, that's right. Verbal ambiguity. The word sharp can have two different meanings. Next practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! That's right. It's a dispute about the fact of water's boiling temperature. Here's another practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! That's right. Verbal ambiguity. The word lost can have two different meanings. Here's another practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! That's correct. It's a factual dispute about who starred in the movie. Here's another practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! That's right. Verbal vagueness. The word pornographic is imprecise. Here's another practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! That's right. It's a factual dispute about the distance. Here's another practice problem. Select the correct answer. Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! That is correct. Verbal ambiguity. The word mad can mean two different things. Well, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did well on these practice problems. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay logical.